cast net, absolutely critical to catch bait. I'm going to give you a quick explanation followed by a very detailed explanation in this video. Steve here, let's talk about throwing a cast net. I was a beginner at this about a year ago and looked at every video on YouTube to figure out what the best technique was. And it's different with a three foot net, a four foot net, or a net like this one, a six footer, that's, or bigger. Note how I gripped it. I gripped it like this, not like this. Because it makes for a more natural release. I'm grabbing about halfway down at the waist. Tuck this in tight. And you're always going to make sure the rope is not in the way. Grab two of them, get a little bit, grab it about halfway down, and then fold it over, making sure it's not tangled in the rope. And then grab the lead line closest to you, pull one of them up, and then grab the other. When you throw this, you're going to flip this in the opposite this hand in the opposite direction. It worked. So the first thing I learned is make a D loop and stick your paw through that to make sure that you don't lose the net when you throw it. That actually happened to me and I had to retrieve the net uh, with my uh, anchor. I had not tightened it down well enough. Then make sure the line is not tangled and reel it back in about a foot and a half to two foot loops. Now here's an, an interesting thing. Obviously you need to make sure that the bottom of your net is not tangled. Jiggle it up and down a little bit, flop it out. But one of the important things that I missed on many of the videos until I saw one guys is do not grab the net like this at the, at the horn. Grab it like this because it allows for a more natural release. Then, on this six foot net, I'm gonna grab it about at waist height, and I'm gonna fold it over and tightly pack the fold into my fist, keeping the rope away from it. Then grab the bottom of the lead line, only grab two of them. If you get more than that, your net is still tangled and pull out maybe about a third of what's left. Grab that about halfway up and fold it over the tuck you already made. Now this is important. Notice how my rope is tangled here. Be sure you extract that away from the fold. Then grab the lead line where it moves away from the fold, tuck that up under your hand, your thumb, and then grab the other one. Now when you throw this, it's a discus motion and you're gonna turn your wrist down at the end. While on this hand, you're gonna throw it down and that provides the spin you need to make sure that the net opens fully. If you don't do this motion, your net will only open halfway. So, do not throw like a football overhand. Throw stiff arm out and around, turning this wrist as you release the net. Now, one thing I found helpful when I was learning was not to try and throw it a mile, but get a small throw, get the technique down, and then everything will work out pretty well.
not bad for a beginner. Please subscribe, please comment, please watch some more stuff.